Hello everyone, Tragic MTG here, and it is time for another one of every master set pack opening here on my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Check it out. See if I can get the goods this time. So sit back and relax. Can I even get them organized? Here we go. Let's start with a pack of iconic masters, and as always, I will be scanning up the rare, showing it off. Whether it's 35 cents or $35. I'm just going to take a look here. Iconic Masters, Hammer Hand. We're going to go a little bit through the commons. Got to stretch this out a little bit. Wall of Roots, Eternal Thirst. We got some uncommons. Let's put the commons here. Hunting Pack, Burrington Forge Tender. Indulgent Tormentor and the rare is a Kokusho the Evening Star, a card that I believe has spiked recently because whenever well let's see, let's read it all the way. Kokusho the Evening Star. It's a six drop five five legendary creature dragon spirit. It's got flying when it dies. Each opponent loses five life. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. With the changes in commander, this is now a little bit of a powerhouse, so there it is. Got a foil windfall. Well, being twenty dollars and ninety-seven cents, we'll put it right here in Cedri's uh, carrying hands, and a foil windfall and an angel token. We're on our way. Uh, we got an Eternal Masters pack. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Right. Second thoughts, none here. Skulking Ghost. Common, common, common. Might be a few good commons lurking in some of these sets. For the most part, we're after the rares. Roar of the Worm. Honden of Seeing Winds. Now the Shrines, I think, are making a little comeback. We might scan this one up. Uh, I think it's... Yep, $3.99 for the original. It's, uh... Let's see if the reprint about the same. three ninety five. dollars Victimize. Glare of Subdual is the rare. 65 cents. Big difference there. Let's let's make a little different pile here. For some kind of good uncommons. And some not so good rares. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Got a foil guy as blessing. There it is. Alright, Modern Masters. The original. Great heart. Empty the Warrens. Logic Knot. It's a pretty good uh, common. Let's see what the scanner thinks of it. It's kind of just okay. We're going to put it here. Search for tomorrow. Siphon Life. Sudden Shock. Vivid Marsh. Pretty decent uncommon. Worm Harvest. Yeah, we're not going to change that. Worm Harvest in the rare. Death Cloud. Uh, let's see, it's uh, pay three black and then X. It's a sorcery. Each player loses X life, discards X cards, sacrifices X creatures, then sacrifices X lands. Punishing. Let's see how that goes. Two bucks. Glacial Ray is a foil. Looks really nice. And a token. Alright, Modern Masters 2015 edition with the zipper let's get it open here throw it over there uh, let's see <clears throat> that's a nothing card right there commons got the helium squirter that's just not right sphere of the suns reassembling skeleton celestial purge ether case knight and the rare a wildfire for six is sorcery each player sacrifices four lands wildfire deals four damage to each creature cannot imagine that this is a really big one it is 58 cents world heart Phoenix I believe this is downgraded from uh, rare at some point maybe I don't think it's a big one either modern horizons not a master set but I throw these in anyway 
Uh, probably going to replace this with Double Masters when I do this series in the future and after next month. So get excited about that, right? Got a bird. We got some cool art. Snow Covered Swamp Ever Dream by Niels Ham right there. Snow Covered Swamp and, whoops, a Birthing Boughs is the foil and an Astral Drift for the rare. For three, it's an enchantment. Whenever you cycle Astral Drift or cycle another card while Astral Drift is on the battlefield, you may exile target creature. If you do, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. And you can cycle this for three. Does it see much play yet? Not really, apparently. It's been reprinted in Commander already. Pillage, Talisman of Hierarchy. Those might be a little bit fact or fiction. Let's, let's check the Talisman. Yeah, it's actually a buck. A couple of those, one of those. Stack of these. Moving on. 2017. Every other year for the most part. Let's see. Lawkeeper. Just some random commons. Spell Pierce. Soul Warden is good, but it's uh, not really worth much at this point. We've got Familiar's Ruse as an uncommon. Let me check that. Eh, it's not so great. Rock's War Monk. Compulsive Research. And a Cyclonic Rift. Amazing card right here. Just goes up and up and up in price. It's going to get reprinted like any minute now. Probably for Double Masters, I'm thinking. It is an instant for two return target non-land permanent. You don't control to its owner's hand, but you can overload it for seven and uh, send back all non-land permanents you don't control. Very solid. 36 bucks for the original Return to Ravnica. Modern Masters right about the same. 35 Another good hit there. Sprouting Thrynax. Nothing much there. All right. Ultimate Masters. Let's do the side opener. I've almost got these things figured out. I've done a lot of Ikoria packs. And some of those work okay. Uh, let's see here. We've got a Fairy Rogue token. Which this might actually be worth a little bit. Let's scan it. Yeah, it's a buck. A Meringue River Prowler and Foil. And a Fulminator Mage. Okay. For three, it's a 2-2 Elemental Shaman. You can sacrifice it to destroy target non-basic land. You only do that trick once, am I right? Well, until he comes right back. 448 for a Fulminator Mage. Songs of the Dam, Sleight of Hand, and Buried Alive. Couple of good uncommons right there. That's a buck. Buried Alive is three bucks. All right. Common, common, common. There's not a whole lot in this set for commons, I don't think. So there we go. All right, last up, Masters 25. Potentially some big hits in this that I don't think I've found yet as I've been going through this box. Trumpet Blast. The Erg Raiders. As always, I do like the uh, set symbol on the card in the text box. The Brainstorm is actually pretty good common. Let's check it out. 94 cents, it makes my good pile, the 94 cent pile, Buzzard, Frenzied Goblin, Undead Gladiator, Stampede Driver, Boros Charm, that's again uncommon, and a Rurik Thar the Unbowed, not a big rare, the Boros Charm is actually 5 bucks now, man, it just goes up and up, Rurik Thar the Unbowed is uh, a 6-6 six, six Ogre Warrior for 6, Vigilance, Reach, it attacks each combat if able. Whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, Rook Thar deals 6 damage to that player. I would think that's pretty solid. Alright, but it's not a big one, I don't think. Got a foil. Accumulated Knowledge, though. Let's check that one. Uh, it's not much on the non-foil version. The foil version is also not a whole lot, so there it goes. Well, that was that. Opening up uh, packs of Modern Masters for your enjoyment. I hope you liked it. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. 
Tragic MTG says, see you later.